Hello, my friends. This is Clara Parks, and welcome back to another Wool Short. Here's a question for you. What if the clothes that we wore could have an impact on our mental health? And I'm not just talking about the style or the fit, but the very fibers in the clothing. Sounds crazy, or maybe not. Here's where a new study piqued my interest. It comes from AWI, which is Australian Wool Innovation Limited, which is the nonprofit R&D and marketing arm for about 60,000 wool growers in Australia. It's funded by a tax that's levied on every bale of Australian merino that's sold. And these people have the deepest pockets in the wool world. So they're really interested in building a body of scientific research about the benefits of wool for human health and wellness. They've done some other really cool studies about wool and sleep and wool and eczema. And this time they wanted to see if the fiber composition of the textiles we wear, so what is in your sweater, what is in your shirt, has any impact on your cognitive performance. So they're thinking about people with super high stress, high consequence jobs like surgeons, air traffic controllers, sharpshooters in the military, astronauts, you know, people for whom a mental slip up could mean a matter of life or death. But really, this can apply to anyone. So working with the University of Adelaide, they developed a study. This involved 62 participants, 28 male, 34 female, with a median age of 22.61, and all participants had either completed or were completing a degree or other tertiary qualification. So that's a super small sampling that doesn't seem to have taken into account racial or ethnic or health background, but every study has to start somewhere, right? Anyway, under controlled laboratory conditions, they put half the participants in a base layer garment made completely of wool and the other half in a base layer garment made of 100% petrochemically derived synthetic fibers. They wanted to see if they could gauge a difference in how these people adapted to stress during cognitive testing as measured in terms of improved accuracy, faster response time, and decreased heart rate variability. Heart rate variability, or HRV, is basically the shift in timing between heartbeats. Now, this is controlled by our autonomic nervous system, which regulates things like heart rate, digestion, blood pressure, breathing, you know, basic things. The autonomic nervous system is made up of two parts. You have the sympathetic nervous system, that is fight or flight, and the parasympathetic nervous system, which is relaxation. This system is constantly sending signals to the hypothalamus, which in turn tells our body what to do. So you can imagine it would be really cool if they could actually measure that wool has an impact on the state of this autonomic nervous system, right? Well, the experiment confirmed that at higher levels of problem difficulty, those wearing wool performed better on the arithmetic problems they were given, especially in terms of response time. Again, they didn't divide this group into intelligence level based on IQ or previous test results, but we're going to go with it. The heart rate variability data showed that those wearing wool had a higher HRV, which suggested that their bodies had adapted more effectively to stress. Tucked at the very bottom of the study is what interested me the most and what might be at the heart of how we got these results. Humans under stress tend to warm up and to cool the body back down, the body then releases perspiration. As the study participants warmed up, those wearing wool performed better because wool is very, very good at absorbing ambient moisture to maintain a steady state, which is how sheep are able to live outside 365 days a year quite comfortably. Isn't that cool? Or warm or dry? So there you have it. The next time you find yourself going into a high stress day, taking an exam, making a difficult negotiation, do yourself a favor and wrap yourself in wool. I'm Clara Parks. This has been another Wool Short for the Wool Channel. Thanks for watching.